Hello guys, what's going on? Welcome back to this brand new Android Studio tutorial and today in this video I will show you that how to use the custom dialogue in our Android app So let's jump into the Android Studio and now as you can see we have a custom dialogue project with a relative layout and nothing on the screen and I'm using an empty activity and now first off we are, what we have to do is that we have to add a button so that when the button is clicked it will be going to display a custom dialog so I'm adding a button into the center now and what we have to do next is that we have to simply show that it the text into show my dialog okay so you can give anything as you wish now when the button is clicked it will be going to display a custom dialog so the custom dialog is actually going to use a custom activity itself the activity will be only having a layout file there is there's no need of a java class so right click on the layout folder go to new and go to layout resource file now i want to name my activity as my custom dialog now clicking the ok now as you can see we have a linear layout and this is actually a custom layout file and what i'm going to do is that i want to add a text view and also a button to close the dialog and between that I'm going to add a image view also so it's all up to you that what you have to actually add inside this and like one of my viewer told me that if he want to add a add a mobile ad inside this custom dialog then yeah you can add it you can simply add it like this and you can give the add mob add variable and everything inside the main activity.java file so now what we have to do is that I want to use the height into like 150 dp now it's rc source is android yeah now I want to also add a custom background color so that is going to be I want to add into something like primary yeah primary now changing this text size into 25 sp then text color into android white gravity into sender now pressing the control alt l on the keyboard will rearrange all these codes now we have done everything and finally we have to add this button as close now the button id goes dialog underscore close now that's it and uh, if you want you can also change this into my title title okay now let's go to yeah we have to we don't need actually we don't need a id so that we can use the one one click method instead of this id now let's go to the main activity and first off we have to add the reference for the dialogue so that is going to be dialogue then i want to name it as my custom dialogue now we have to initialize the dialog now my custom dialog equal to new dialog context that is this now i want to create a separate method for this custom dialog so that is public then void dialog yeah show my dialog view view opening the curly braces and inside that we have to first first off we have to add the custom dialog what do we say yeah custom dialog then set content view so we have to add the layout file so that is out dot layout dot my custom dialog secondly we have to show the button to close it so my custom dialog dot set set yeah find view by id then out dot id dot dialog close next we have to add the close dialog dot set one click listener then new one click listener and we have to close the dialogs when this button is clicked so that is my custom dialog dot dismiss so if you want to close the dialog then you can use this dismiss and next what we have to do is that we have to add a custom background for the custom dialog so that is going to be my custom dialog Okay, my custom dialog dot set yeah before that we have to get window then set background drawable then new color drawable then color dot transparent so we want to actually use the background color as transparent if you want to get a nice view of this custom dialog now finally we have to show that so my custom dialog then show 
okay now you can see it's pretty much easy and we have almost added every single code we actually require now finally we have to simply call this method that is show my custom dialog so go to activity underscore main dot xml and we have to create a one click method and now we have to show that um, my show my custom dialog and that's pretty much it now we have completed all the steps and uh, yeah let's go and check whether we have completed everything we have initialized then we have created a method and we also added the set content view button and everything okay now we have to add one more thing that is actually my custom dialog okay now if you want to cancel the dialog when the user press the area other than the, the custom dialog then you can set it to true and if you don't want to cancel the, the dialog other than by just pressing the cancel button on the dialog then you can use it as false and now we have done everything and now let's go and try this in a real android device okay guys so we have the android app in the android device and everything is pretty much okay now we have the button to show the custom dialog and when i press the button blam you can see now we have the custom dialog on the screen so we have a text view we have an image and finally we have a closing button and when I press the closing button and blam you can see now it is closer so that's it so if you like this video then give it a big thumbs up as always thanks for watching and I hope to see you in my next video peace out